Replacing single pane windows with double pane insulated windows is a good way to go to save energy, but sometimes you can get caught out. In this particular situation, my double hung windows were extra wide and in order to get a simple replacement, I thought I would try routing out the existing frames and putting double panes and replacing the single panes. So in the next three to five minutes, I'll show you how I did it. To get the window out, you need to remove the molding around the window frame. And then you can lift the window out, making sure that the balance cables are disconnected. Old glazing putty and glass have to come out. Sometimes you just scrape and then when you get frustrated, you pick up a hammer. Strip and remove all the old paint. It's the old paint that usually causes these windows to jam. A carefully operated planer will give you a nice finish when you've stripped off all the paint. Any place where the joints have separated, squeeze as much glue as you can into the cracks. and then just clamp them up. Using a template bit on the router, you need to route out the glue for the new window. Most of the time it's about an extra half an inch. And the best idea is to clamp or, or screw your template onto the actual window for a guide. And use a template routed bit. If the window is a little out of square, you're going to have to chisel away a bit here and there just to make it right. The glass should fit very nicely and, and no force should be needed to put it in. A point driver is handy for putting in the glass, but you can also use ones that you put in with a screwdriver. It can be bought at any hardware store. Glazing with glazier putty is quite an art, and you do get better the more times you do it. You need to remove the old spring balance because it's only going to have half the tension that is required to lift your window.
Your new spring balance is going to need to be twice as powerful as your previous one because it's got double the amount of glass to lift. You just simply nail it in once you've got it in position. Stretch the cables that lift the windows down so you have enough room to put the new windows in. You can now put the windows in sitting on top of the cables that you stretched out. Put the molding back in and nail it up and you've got the window in place. Screw on a new catch and you have a double pane insulated window.